Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. Today I'm going to show you two easy ways to make your oatmeal swallow and then I'll also show you how to make oat flour from raw oats. Now oatmeal swallow has been my swallow of choice since I started enjoying more plant-based recipes. It's a healthier alternative to the regular swallows that we have in Nigeria and this swallow can be enjoyed with every and any soup from egusi to okra to olubu to ogbono, you just name it. Anything works well with this swallow. One thing I particularly like about this oatmeal swallow is the fact that it's very, very nutritious and it's packed loaded with fiber, which helps me do the number two um, whenever I, I want to do it easily and speedily without stress or worry of constipation. So this is one swallow that you definitely would want to inculcate into your swallow recipe if you are a lover of oats, okay? All right, before we go into the cooking action, be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, join the family, and of course, like this video if you like what you see, because I know that you're definitely going to like it. All right, guys, now we can go into this cooking action. For the first method, place some rolled or instant oats in a blender and add some water as well. Blend till completely pureed. Afterwards, pour the puree in a pot on medium heat and start stirring immediately with a spatula. Continue stirring things around until the puree thickens up to form the oat swallow. That's how quick and easy it is to make the first method, guys. Speedy, speedy. <laughs> For the second method, start by making some oats flour. And making oats flour is pretty simple as well. Just place some rolled oats in a blender that's used to blend dry ingredients or you can use your food processor. Blend until the oats powder is formed. That's how simple it is to make the oats flour. Afterwards, place some water in a pot on medium heat and bring to a rolling boil. Then gradually pour the oats flour into the pot, stirring as you pour. Mix until very well combined. Then add about 3 tablespoons of water into the pot. Cover the pot and allow to cook on low heat for 5 minutes. This will help cook up the oats. Afterwards, open up the pots, stir again with a spatula until the oats is well molded. Now, these are the two methods side by side. And personally, I prefer the very second method because it's easier to control the texture of the swallow. But both methods work really fine and can be used to enjoy any and every kind of soup. It has been my swallow of choice for many years now. The second method of making the oatmeal swallow is my favorite method, I must say, because it's easier to control the texture of the swallow when you boil the water and then just are pouring in the powder. It's easier to control it that way, but whichever method works, you still get the same texture, same consistency. But I prefer the other one in terms of um, helping me control the texture and then of course the color. I like that it has, it's a little bit darker in color, okay? If you've been making it, please do not forget to take pictures and upload on your Facebook and Instagram stories and tag me. I always love to see your recreations and of course you can also send me emails, you can um, DM me, just 
whatever you do just ensure that i see your recreation because it always makes me super duper happy okay all right guys i'll see you next time with another mouth watering and delicious recipe up to then let's very kind to one another love yourselves generously and it's me the queen of one of the king signing out right now i love you all take care